Bikini pictures. My boyfriend is mad at me and basically told me our trust is broken because I asked him if he felt comfortable about me posting bikini pic on Instagram. And then he went on rampage on how I just wanted attention or validation and how it's sketchy. I recently recovered from eating disorder and I feel comfortable posting a couple pics at the beach with a bikini and I'm proud of myself. The person who was going to take them was my twin sister, and that it. I don't have a huge following and been posting on IG since I was 14, and never posted a bikini pic due to body dysmorphia. Your trust is broken because you asked him? It still wouldn't have been valid but if you'd done it before asking him he might have a semblance of a point if he felt that posting pics like that is wrong. But you literally didn't post the pic and asked him about it so the idea that the trust is broken is ludicrous. He's not a good person. I just went away to Turkey and posted plenty of holiday pics and some in bikinis. Boyfriend doesn't mind at all. It comes down to immaturity and insecurity I'm afraid girl. You should do what you want and he should do what he wants. That means that if he leaves you for posting the pictures it's okay because anybody can break up with anyone for any reason whether or not you agree with it or not. You should absolutely be allowed to post it. He sounds bitter and kind of mean. You're not some vapid person searching for validation or trying to pick up guys. You're someone in a bathing suit. Any guy who goes on a rampage when you exercise a little autonomy is not a safe person to be around. Post the pics. Drop the man. If it isn't for attention or validation then why do you think that you want to post a bikini picture on the internet? This is kind of a funny post because it's so similar to another one that was posted where a girl got mad at her boyfriend for liking the bikini pics of his friends even though he liked their other ones too. And the comments were similarly divided. Most people telling her to get over it and a few saying they agree and that they wouldn't be okay with their partners doing that. GF proposed open relationship can she be happy being monogamous? Update we had a long talk or series of long talks after I made the post. And I came to learn some stuff about her which I didn't know previously. Like she was in a poly relationship in college and sometimes she had three partners at the same time or when she first started her job she was in an open relationship with her boyfriend at the time. She told me all this on her own to explain her pa. She said it she can be equally happy in either a poly, open or fully monogamous relationship based on her partner and with me she has no doubts that we can last a lifetime of monogamous relationship if I so desire. But she said that for that to happen I have to trust her that she means what she says and is not trying to tell me what I want to hear. So I asked her what was really bothering me, if she can be really happy with just me or she can do it but always craving for something, someone more. And she replied to me that I have to trust her to look after her happiness and satisfaction in life and not try to decide for her. On her part she will never lie to me about her feelings but I have to be able to accept it. Oh and why did she ask for an open relationship? She just thought it would be fun for both of us, but mostly me as I spend at least a week away from home each month and she thought I would miss the physical intimacy. But I have told her that I will never to open to any non-monogamy, physically and emotionally and she accepted it completely. I know we both look at sex and intimacy differently but as long as we have boundaries which are being respected by both of us does it really make that much of a difference. Anyways, I know we need to have a lot of talks in the coming days but after having this talk I am feeling optimistic about us. So yeah, that was the update. We are still together. Thank you to everyone who took out time to advise me. First post. Wow. This thread has a lot of experts on your relationship. I've known quite a few polyamorous people like this. As long as she maintains clear and honest communication with you, that's what matters. You can make the best decisions for yourself that way. I wish you luck and love. Good for you brother. Man I cannot stress this enough. Please keep the honest and open communication going at all times. Show each other affection. And squash all doubts in each other's minds. All the time. Trust is one of the main ingredients to a loving relationship. No trust, no relationship. Simple as that. All the best bro. Take care of one another. Peace. Ha 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 ha, she was asking about an open relationship for you? Bullshit. Thanks for the update. I'd be worried about her overemphasis of you having to trust her. People demonstrate they are trustworthy, they don't need to ask for it. She clearly projected her sexual desires on you. You made it clear from the very beginning of your views on relationships. But she tried to turn it on you by telling you she thought you would miss having sex as you spend weeks away from home. IDK man, this doesn't line up well. Husband said he doesn't like me when I'm happy. This is weird to write. My husband has told me, 
probably once a year since we got together six years AGI that he is so dissatisfied to the point of leaving because of incompatibility. So as I always do, I tell him he should do what he feels is best and leave. I always wondered why he felt this way as he eventually shrugs it off after a while of seeing me hurt and missing me and says he doesn't mean it he's just confused. However I'm getting fucking sick of hearing this shit and constantly thinking my relationship is going to end. Getting to the point, today he said he loves me when I'm sad, but when I'm happy and excited about life and things in it, he gets severely unattractive to my personality. Like what the fuck does that mean? He said he's confused about it too and asked me to ask Reddit if this is a common thing or if he just needs help psychologically. I know it's not my fault that he feels this way, I'm just being myself. But damn it makes me feel like shit. Anyway, thanks for reading. Ever heard the phrase, misery loves company? Sounds like your husband wants someone to wallow in his sorrows with and make suffer, because he himself is miserable and unhappy. He needs to become self-aware and ask himself, not Reddit, why he feels this way. He is the only person who can fix this issue. Whether it be counseling, reading self-help books, etc., he has to put in the work to changing his mindset. That is the only way your marriage will survive. Repeatedly threatening to break up is emotionally abusive. He doesn't like you when you're happy. It doesn't matter if this is a common thing or not. It's clearly never going to work and you have to start looking after yourself as he's clearly not going to. He just wants you to be sad and needy. Time to contact a divorce lawyer. Nah. This isn't normal. He sounds dangerous. That's such a fucked up thing to say. What the fuck? Seriously. What a freak. He threatens to end the relationship often and he doesn't like you when you are happy? I like it when you are happy and I don't even know you lol. I would honestly doubt if he even loves you because why would you not be happy when the person you love is happy? Anyway. You obviously deserve better. I'm sorry that you're feeling this way. I'm pretty sure that your husband is suffering due to some mental health issues. A healthy person wouldn't react this way, unless he loathes your presence. He needs help. My best friend stole 200 euros from my girlfriend. So last week my GF, 24, that I've been with two years threw a party for her birthday. During the party we passed around a money pool to gift her, because she wants to buy a camera, she's really into photography. When we gave it to her some of us noticed there was way less money in the pot than we expected, but we didn't mention it because we didn't want to create tension. But two days ago, when he was wasted, my best friend, M32, that I met 15 years ago confessed he stole 200 euros from the pot. He's really deep in shit, he needs money, and I think he needs those 200 euros way more than her. I don't know how to react, should I tell my girlfriend about what happened? Should I ask him for the money to give it back without mentioning where it comes from? Should I cut him off because of this even though what he did is understandable? I'm unsure what to do. And hash x200b. Too long did not read. My best friend stole 200 euros from the money pot we gifted my girlfriend, but he really needs it. What he did is completely not okay. He's 32 years old he has to get a hold of his own life and finances. He shouldn't be repeatedly asking friends for money like you said in a comment, or stealing it. My god, I have chronic illnesses which have made me unable to work at certain points in my life and I've never stolen money. If I were you I'd seriously reconsider this friendship. Your friend has a lot of growing up to do and doesn't seem to mind taking advantage of others. What he did is not understandable. He stole a significant amount of money from a pool for your girlfriend who is presumably one of his friends, and didn't say anything to anyone until roughly a week had passed. What he did was wrong and he should face consequences for it, whether those are being called out to the group, made to pay it back, outed to your girlfriend, or kicked out of the friend group. Confused as to how stealing money other people gave as a gift to someone else is, understandable. Dot. Your, best friend, is about to steal your whole life if your girlfriend finds out and you continue to keep enabling him. Sometimes people need the consequences of their actions. He's going to continue to use you if you allow this. He will always undermine you, steal from you, and apparently the people you love, until you have nothing left to give. It's time for the tough love. He's been your best friend for 15 years and didn't tell you he needed the money until after he took it? How will your girlfriend react if she hears it from him the next time he's drunk around her and lets it slip that you've known about it? This doesn't sit right with me. You need to both tell your girlfriend what happened, and talk to your friend about making it right. So your homie stole from your girlfriend and you're alright with that? Because if I was her and I found out I would break up with you on the spot. 
Then I call the cops on your best friend for stealing what was rightfully mine. It doesn't matter he's on hard times it isn't right to steal. You need to tell your girlfriend and your best friend needs to make things right before karma comes back harder on him. Are you seriously considering just letting him steal like that? This won't be the last time. 